going on, YouTube? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in with another conversation with your boy. Next. Um, basically, this video is going to be uh, just a recap of my July 4th, how I spent it. Uh, you know, get you a little few fun facts or, you know, tell you my, my next experience on how that day was for me. Um, and also, right now, I'm going to give you guys like a little brief history on the Macy's July 4th celebration, how it started, when it started, and so on and so forth. Um, all right, so basically, I'm going to start off with this. So, the first time Macy's ever showcased any type of fireworks at all was back in 1958 on July 1st. So, it had nothing to do with July 4th at all. They, um, it was to celebrate their 100th anniversary as a department store. They, they celebrated their fireworks, yada, yada, yada. Now, fast forward 18 years later, 1976, July 4th is when they first started they birthed the macy's july 4th celebration of, of uh, fireworks they uh, partnered up with walt disney uh walt disney company and it was basically to celebrate the bicentennial of the united states of america the birthday the bicentennial i think that's how you say bicentennial i don't use that word as much so forgive me if that's not you if that's not how you pronounce it bicentennial bicentennial so basically that's like the 200th anniversary celebration of, of anything um and it's uh, you know basically two hundred years later after they first signed the Declaration of Independence in seventeen on seventeen seventy six, and uh, so they did that. They partnered Walt Disney. They did the uh, fireworks, yada yada yada. And then ever since then, they made it a tradition. Every year on July fourth in New York City, Macy's has been celebrating the July fourth with fireworks. And another uh, fun fact is that um, it is the largest fireworks show in the nation. So if you're in the United States of America. And you want to see the best July 4th experience, the fireworks, the, just the biggest one overall. You want to go to New York City to watch the Macy's fireworks. That is the, it's the largest one, period. Um, uh, so basically, I, uh, I went to July 4th. I attended in 2019, just now that I just passed, the 43rd annual. Um, this is actually my second time, not my first time. The first time I've been to a Macy's fireworks show was in 2013, six years ago. Um, it ha it's been very different, a very different experience. This time around was much, much better than the first time I went. Um, so basically, when I went in 2013, it was on the west side. I remember I was like on, the f it was, I was in the 40s. I was on 44th or 45th and like 10th Avenue, like all the way on the west side. And they showcased it. It was like they did it on the Hudson River. So people that were on the west side, you know, probably like from like, I don't know, maybe Chelsea Piers all the way up until 125th that they can really actually see it, you know, good, even from a distance. And people from Jersey, from that, from across across the Hudson, right there, that Jersey uh, strip. Um, it was okay. It was a lot of people, as I expected. Um, there's always millions of people for that day to see, talking about tourists, local people, you know, just a bunch of, three million people joining to see just one type of event for 30, 45 minutes, right? So I go... Uh, it was, it was, it was, you know, whenever I try something for the first time, uh, even if it turned out to be bad, like, I'm not mad about it. I, I take it with a grain of salt, and it's like, it was my first time, you know, if I would've never went, I would've never felt how the way I feel right now, you know what I'm saying, after all of this. So I went, and then, it was, it, it sucked, because, first of all, we didn't have chairs or anything, so we had to stand up. We were sitting on the curb for, from time to time, and when, when the, the show finally came on, it was doing the fireworks. There was there was a freaking building. There was a freaking building. Like uh, it wasn't that tall, but it definitely blocked some uh, some some scenery of the fireworks. So that that was very annoying. I'm like that, and we couldn't move to a certain area. It was late because it was already two packed. So basically, when we got there, we that was the only space that we could we couldn't got right there. And and another thing is we could have moved somewhere else, but we didn't know exactly where the fireworks were gonna shoot up from. You know what I mean? We didn't know. We didn't know what direction. So it turns out where we were, that was the blockage. That was the building blockage right there. That's where they were playing it at. Not to the left, not to the right, like kind of almost to the middle. So I'm like, God damn. So, but it, it was still dope though. I'm not, I wasn't mad about it. We left, uh, we left pretty satisfied. Not 100%, but we were happy we saw it for the first time. We got to see the Macy's fireworks. I've been living here all my life. I was raised here all my life in New York City. I've never been to that. I've, been, I've seen regular fireworks in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, the hood. And, you know, stuff like that in beaches and other areas and other cities, but never the Macy's. So we were happy about that. So six years later, we go again. We say, you know what? We're going again this year. Because now 
they're gonna do it in the Brooklyn Bridge. So they did it in the Brooklyn Bridge this time around. The last time they did it in the Brooklyn Bridge was 2013. 2014, that was the year after we went for the first time. So we didn't go, it was like, we went last year, we're not gonna go. So years later, six years to be exact, we go to the, we, we said, oh, they're gonna play in the Brooklyn Bridge, dope. They got the park over there, we go to South Street Seaport, or we go, you know, along the East River. We're like, we good, we're gonna go, we're gonna put the blanket, bang, we're gonna, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna bring what we want what we want to bring, we're gonna chill, music, you know what I mean? We, we got the blanket, we're just gonna map. For me, have a little picnic and wait for the for the show to start. So we did just that. So that was dope. We already knew before even before even uh, for the the day of ride before the day of ride, we already knew we was gonna have a better time than last time because we gonna have we gonna be able to sit down, chill. It's better views. Um, in general, it's a better it's a better scenery. You see the skyline of Manhattan, but we decided to go to Brooklyn Bridge Park. So we go. Blah, 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 blah. So as the time goes by, uh, bones getting dark. Everybody's getting packed. So it projected like another three million, three point five million people to come out to this event for this year. So a lot of people we already knew, we already knew. So we get there, boom, boom, boom. And when I did my research, when I did my research before going to Brooklyn Bridge Park, it said it's gonna play along the East River. It's gonna be on the Brooklyn Bridge. They're gonna pop the fireworks. Th th these are the things that I'm reading. I'm, I'm, I'm reading. I'm trying to get information. Did my research. Boom. And even my lady said the same thing. Like, yeah, that, that that's what it, that's what's gonna happen. Brooklyn Bridge Park. Fine. We in there. We in there. So, boom, so as time goes by, it's again, everybody's getting anticipated, anticipation is rising, it's getting exciting, yada, 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 it's a bunch of people around us, and, you know, we're, we're excited just to see, you know, see fireworks, it's been six years, and we've seen some dope, like, crazy fireworks, you feel what I'm saying, like, an actual show, and it's, it's Macy's, so it's the best one, right, and so, as it started going, the fireworks, oh my God, so the Brooklyn Bridge, for those, you know, for those that know, for those that don't, I'm gonna try to explain to it the best way I can. So it's the Brooklyn Bridge. So we were on this side of the Brooklyn Bridge, right? Boom, which was dope, the Brooklyn Bridge Park area. So across is the South Street Seaport, which is on that side, right? So so if you can follow me, top left, we was on a, on a bottom right kind of thing. And this is the bridge, right? So they were throwing the fireworks, most of the fireworks on this side, this side. So we on the other end of the Brooklyn Bridge, the other side of the Brooklyn Bridge. You know what I'm saying? And we like... Yo, so you know, it, the, you know, the Brooklyn Bridge is big, so it got like two huge pillars. You know what I mean? The 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 from the bridge, and one of the pillars, like we were behind that, kind of behind, so we couldn't see the whole show. So I'm like, yo, like what the? So we saw it was dope. It was better. It was a better experience than the last time. But for the second time, we thought we had it this time. We thought we had it this time as far as like being able to see all the fireworks 100% visual, like totality like that like and that didn't happen and we were like we, we we weren't mad though i promise you we was not mad we were a little upset because we finally found a good spot we were there er well i was there early i arrived i was the first one to get there i was chilling there i didn't mind i was off that day i got there and i was just boom we got the spot we get to lay down watch the joint even though we stood up but we had to stand up at this point because the damn fireworks on the other side but we got some on this side too you're gonna see in the video as as i go as uh, as this video goes, you're gonna see. And we were like, damn, man, but you know, but we were happy though, because we definitely had a better time. So it was a, it was an upgrade. It was an upgrade. Um so that happened and after that, you know, I'm, you know, you're gonna see the what happened after that, the train, it was it was just so packed as you would assume. Um, you know, uh, nothing, nothing happened, thankfully, nothing, no nothing violent, no no no, it was it was it was it was good. So just you're gonna see as the video goes, everything I, I pitched, and even after after we left the park, uh, the train, uh, the the train system, how it was so packed, people were just, it was kind of hot that day, it, it, it was crazy. Now look, my advice, see it once in your life, once, just one time in your life, one time in your life. Now, there's some people out there that don't like to be around a lot of people, they don't like to be in big public spaces, they don't even like to go to concerts because there's so many people around them. I get it. If you really are like that, then don't even do it that for me, because you gotta remember, this is New York City, July Fourth. A lot of people on vacation over here. A lot of tourists. So if you're gonna go to it, just 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 expect that it's gonna be a bunch of people. It's like if you want to go to 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 downtown on New Year's Eve, that you already know what's up. It's bound to happen. And I, I wanted to go to South Street Seaport originally, but those my and this is crazy. If you can look it up in the article, if you guys if you guys want.
or you could Google it. South Street Seaport is a public park. Except for like when you're inside or you're on the top roof, you know, you got to pay for that. There's bars and restaurants. That's not, no, that's, that's businesses and stuff like that. But around it, it's public park. They had that whole area shut down. The government shut that down. The government of New York City or the mayor or whatever shut it down and, it, and made it like a, like a private thing. So if you wanted to go around South Street Seaport, like if you wanted, and that was the best, uh, apparently that was the best uh, viewing uh, location like on South Street Seaport. You had to pay anywhere from $300 to $450. You know what I mean? Because the the restaurants and the business establishment around there had it all like locked down. They had their own seats. They had their viewing areas and all that. You have to pay. You have to pay hundreds of dollars to, just to go there and, and see this. And you probably, yeah, you probably don't, I don't even think you get a free meal or drinks. None of that. You just and and it was a public park. So somebody I forgot the name of the dude, but um he uh made a complaint to the city like yo why would you guys shut a public park down to make profit out of it? You know what I mean? But that's a whole nother thing. But personally, um, side note, personally, I love July 4th. That's another thing about me for those that don't know. I love July 4th. It is top three my favorite holiday in the United States of America. Like, July 4th is the shit. Because at the end of the day, man, we're celebrating independence. Like, is that not worth celebrating? Is that not worth, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're celebrating another year of independence. If it wasn't for independence, we would be in a whole nother... You know what I mean? Stage as 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 a country, we we we'll, we'll be not well off. We'll, you know what I'm saying? We are where we are today because we were able to be independent. You know what I'm saying? Back in 1776, yada yada. But enough of that. I love July 4th. I love seeing fireworks. So this is something I only been twice to the Macy's joint, um, unfortunately. But uh, I have been I have been to other fireworks. I haven't seen other fireworks that weren't when I was younger. When I was young, but it wasn't Macy's. So I've seen fireworks all my life. Pretty much every year I'm seeing fireworks. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is the second time we went, it was an awesome experience, and I, I think it was dope, but despite the fact that we were in a bad, look, that was the only problem, we were in a bad thing, and it's just because I had hours there, in that, in that spot I was in, you feel me, and it didn't work out, you know, to our favor, but, um, I, I would say for, especially for you New Yorkers, anyone that's not in New York too, but for those New Yorkers, one time, experience it one time in your life. Just once, just once. It's a thirty to forty-five minute show. I think it's about, it's, I think it's about thirty minutes. But it's one of the best fireworks you'll ever see. If you're a fan of fireworks, you probably seen regular fireworks all your life. But this one, they, 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 um, they ante it up. You know what I mean? They, they step it up a notch. Like they do all. They have like a waterfall of. Fire. You're gonna see on my video. So, I'm doing too much talking. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Watch the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys experience it for yourselves in the future. Whatever. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, man. See you next time. To watch the next experience July 4th video recap, click the link in my description or just watch the next video. <laughs>